viewers. I got unstuck from the mud at, after the end of my previous periscope and proceeded a very short distance in a little uh, flotilla of four boats into here, Gloucester Harbor. So there's a little tiny little anchorage area and the rest of it is all mooring balls for us uh, pleasure boaters. But you also have these uh, giant fish factories. I couldn't tell you which one is which. Maybe somebody nearby will, will chime in. But there's several on this side and Tide Divine. And another one over here. And watch where I step so I don't hurt my feet. And there's something going on over there. Which also has a, a boat haul out. And I'm going to shoot into the sun for a second as much as I hate it. But there's the old famous old red building that I think used to be some kind of a paint shop and maybe Divine remembers that. Hi Scott. There's a sign here that says railways full service boatyard. So that means you don't get hauled out by being plucked up but you get hauled out by getting into a cradle and they ride the whole thing up on some rails which can take fairly substantial boats. As you can see there are some fairly substantial boats here. There's a a big schooner there and behind me is a 210 foot schooner right into the sun so you can't see it but the outline that's the adventure last year it came out to Star Island and dropped off 65 guests for two nights so they ended up having uh, not ended up it was part of the plan they had to stay in the harbor well the guests uh, spent the night two nights at the hotel on Star and uh, whoever was not working at the time got to go for a ride. Of course the uh, the guests had to pay but the staff could go for free as long as there was space so that was cool. This is a kind of a rough place not not rough terrible it's not dangerously rough but there's a ceaseless activity until maybe after dark so everyone's uh, wobbling around a little bit. Another thing they seem to have is uh, is some kind of an organization for large uh, old-timey rowing boats and one one of them's coming in this direction how about that what you did miss seeing was a fishing boat towing in a disabled motorboat and I think the sailing school has quit for the day so pretty spot here uh, a couple years ago I was here and, and rowed ashore and walked around I could always drive here, but it's uh, it's really not worth the hassle from my, my home spot. There's a lot of traffic between uh, get, getting to this neck of the woods. It's not as bad as getting into Boston, but it is a busy area. So the driving here is nothing uh, I normally would consider unless there was something I really, really needed. Years ago, I came here for to a boat shop and got some uh, some rain gear and some rubber boots. And I had to come back the next day because I found out one of the boots had a it had been glued wrong, so I had to come back and exchange it. And the guy at the store was a little bit upset that I was complaining about a a boot that was glued wrong. But anyway, we come to find out, I never used the darn things. I didn't go out in the rain. I didn't know what to buy. You know, everybody should have rubber boots, right? Trying to see if this rowing boat is, is going to come this way, but no, they're going the other direction. I'm going to inch up to the front of the boat. I have to watch where I walk here so I don't hurt my... I'm barefoot. So I don't hurt my, my toe on something or trip and drop the phone and that would be the end of that. So there's a po whole pile of mental moorings and then farther in there's ones, uh, private ones. Look at this large uh, rowboat. One, two, just three sets of oars. That's a real pretty sight. You don't see those too often. I don't dare zoom in because I'll get all jiggly. I'm bouncing around enough as it is. And I have a feeling they might not row over this way. But you can kind of see it going along. Well, I wish you were here too. You could yell at me from the shore. <laughs> Divine, where, where are you now? What part of the state? So tomorrow is going to be another nice day like this. And... Oops, I have to don't lose my balance and I hope to get down to Cape Cod and the Cape Cod Canal there's a, a turn off and I can go in there and anchor in the town of Onset so it's five o'clock you think uh, 
you think all the fishing boats would be back, but but no. Is that your, is that really your uncle's white boat? You're in southern Connecticut. Okay. That would be funny if it really was your uncle's white boat, but what's the, what's the name of your uncle's white boat? Is it this one that's passing? You have to tell him to watch this. Is he on the boat? Is your uncle driving the boat? Or is that all a joke? So you can see the wind is, has sort of died out. There's a little sailboat here. Barely, barely making any progress. Here's another boat coming in with a whole flock of, of birds. So that means they're doing something with, with fish. And I'll go back to the back of my boat and we'll see it go by. Off to the left a bit, dock, it's called Seize the Day. Okay. Well, I just did a, a big rotation, so... So I was pointing in this direction. There are a lot of white boats. So in there somewhere. So here's this other boat coming in. And obviously they've been successful in their, in their endeavors today. And they must be doing a little bit of cleaning and all the seagulls are looking for a bit of a a tidbit. Divine, why are you traveling around so much? Or is this, uh, this normally what you do? I don't think we've ever had this, this conversation. I don't see them actually cutting fish, but they're doing a lot of washing. And they'd probably like to be finished by the time they get to their dock and then they can go home. These guys have super long days. So, I, uh, visiting family. Okay, nice. I, uh, I didn't do any advanced calculations when I left today for tomorrow's trip. I'm going to be in the Cape Cod Canal and the current there runs uh, very strongly in one direction and then the tide changes and it runs strongly in the other direction. And I didn't do any calculation for when I have to be there until I actually left uh, today and then I had a thought to look it up. It's really ironic. You saw a 25 Pro line being towed. Oh, okay. Well, Seize the Day seems like it could be a, a fairly common name. Even more common is boats fishing, little fishing boats called Real Time, R-E-E-L. People think they're, I guess they think they're being cute, but can't you think of something a little more original? No, oh, Somerset, okay. So, uh, the, the short version of the story, for me to hit the canal current in, in my favor, I should probably leave here at 5 in the morning. Not quite sure about that, but I'm going to do the best I can. I had a... I was going into the wind all day today and, and my speed wasn't, wasn't right. So, I wasn't sure if I was in a bad current plus the wind being wrong or something else. Mine is Saint Saint somewhere. Okay, so here's somebody. This is this is a nice little harbor because so first we had the uh, the old uh, rowing dory, and here's a small version of the the same same type of, of thing. So this is a busy harbor with a lot of uh, old boats. That schooner, the Schooner Adventure, is <clears throat> probably 80 years old. I'm trying to remember what they said. It was a it was a fishing boat from the I think the 30s, or maybe I mean someone will have to look it up. It's a 210 feet, and it was has a little bit of room up in the very front for people to sleep, and the rest of it used to be holds for fish. <clears throat> One of those holds is now uh, the engine room, and well sealed up because that engine gets really hot. So there isn't much room on that boat. You would think there would be, but there isn't. There's only a tiny little area up front where the 12 or 14 crew, they have a very large table and then bunks with little cloth curtains, which they can drop down and so you don't have to see someone's dirty, uh, dirty bed sheet when you're hanging out in the daytime. So I hope it calms down tonight with, uh, from boat traffic. All these fishing boats are slowly coming in one by one and there's a little bit of wave action. It would be nice to sleep quietly instead of getting bounced around. Here, see, there's one went by and here's another one. 
coming in. I'm scheduled behind. No, no, I'm on track. Usually I leave on the first, but the hurricane was coming, so I, I didn't want to get involved with that. So leaving, leaving today was just as well. This is a faster boat and compared to the one I used to, to go in. And it also has, has a covering, so I don't have to worry about rain. And that's a huge, a huge difference. Being able to go in rain means I don't lose, lose nearly so many days. I'm not going to travel, today's Monday, I'm not going to travel on Wednesday because the south wind's going to be too strong and I'm, I'm headed almost due south. And the next good stop is 50 miles, so, so no traveling uh, on Wednesday, but then we'll see what Thursday brings and go from there. At that point, the forecast is a little, little far out. But I, I actually didn't think I'd leave today. I thought I was leaving on Thursday. But I, uh, I checked the weather and I had, had this afternoon, I had to do things in the morning. I had this afternoon to get here and then all of tomorrow to do my 60 miles, which is gonna be a long day. That's probably at least 10 hours. If not, uh, if not more, depends what happens with the uh, the wind. If it's on the nose, I'll be going slow. You can't always have have it in your favor. I have some friends in, in an identical boat, and they're a little slower to get going, and they think they're leaving on Saturday. Well, we'll see how that goes. There's supposed to be south winds or southwest winds on Saturday, and that's not definitely not a good direction to be making a long trip. So there you go, Gloucester Harbor. I'm gonna, gonna pack up this scope, work my way back. It's almost time to start supper going. I don't anchor, I think I've anchored here twice in my life in this spot. Usually, usually I end up, I used, used to go over into this cove and try to pick up a mooring, find an empty one. And I thought I'd just anchor here tonight, just a little easier. Uh, my other boat was smaller, so it was easier to fit into these uh, these smaller coves where all the moorings are packed together. So, it's calm enough here. If there was a really big amount of wind, I'd, I'd see about some mooring ball. So, you know, fishing boats are coming in and fishing boats are going out. I wonder if they're going out for the night. It's kind of a hard, that's a hard job definitely would not want to work on a fishing boat but somebody has to if you want to eat fish so um, everybody thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time take care